Hey everybody. So this particular research paper is called a Universal Banach Bregman Framework for Stochastic Iterations Unifying Stochastic Mirror Descent Learning and LLM Training, put out by Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, and a few independent researchers. This particular research paper caught my eye because I'm going to put it out here up front. This is 100% a blatant ripoff of my AI geometry concept, like uh, to a T. I mean, they formalize it more than I do, right? It's 69 pages long. They give you all of the mathematics behind it. But like this 100% translates over like this concept that they name after themselves, Banach Bregman, like it's literally AI geometry. Like I, I can't call it out blatantly enough. And then so uh, essentially like uh, the best place to start here, uh, I think is essentially going over what this research paper uh, entails, goes over and then kind of comparing it to AI geometry as a whole. Uh, I'll also like, so this is the book that I published and it's available. It's been available on Amazon. <laughs> uh, it's 113 pages long uh, and it's AI geometry, understanding geometry through the eyes of AI. Um, and then I put this out in, I think, November uh, and then of uh, last year. And then so, I mean, this goes into literally all of the concepts behind this. But so essentially starting here as to like a snapshot of what the paper does, right? So the paper establishes a unified optimization geometry called Banach Bregman that generalizes beyond Euclidean Hilbert space methods and regular C covers, mirror descent, natural gradient, adaptive methods, et cetera, uh, including, so essentially they provide a unifying geometric theory for AI overall. Uh, here, you, here you go, <laughs> right? Uh, and then what their unifying theory goes over and, and relies on is the fact that all of these spaces, that, that the spaces that uh, the models operate in, the geometric spaces, are not Euclidean spaces. Uh, how many, like, uh, I've been telling you these things for three years now, right? Like, literally these things. So uh, this is, I mean, like, from chat, like, it mathematically formalizes several instincts of my AI geometry work. And then, so that's, a, like, I will state that, right? Like, so this is, like, their paper is is far more, it's 69 pages of of flat out formalizations, right? So they, they formalize it like so that it's airtight, but like, uh, it, it, like I, I'll dive deeper into this. So, so what goes beyond the, so essentially like they, they're like the bottom line that they do that goes beyond anything that I do is a few formalizations. I go beyond their formalizations and then like what, like see, these are the things that tick me off about this quite honestly is like, so literally concepts that I, I have within AI geometry, like they list out as future directions. Like, uh, so my site, like all of my sidecar framework, sidecar research, resonance calculus, uh, and then also like, um, fractal and persistent memory like th these are like they very specifically call out these concepts in their future directions uh I, you know and then so uh, they don't call them these things but so uh the benach bregman in, in in plain language so optimization as a navigation in the right map classical theory assumes a flat inner product world utilizing hubber spaces many ai tasks aren't flat like they because they utilize different types of geometry and then so they swap Euclidean distance and, and any metrics that utilize Euclidean distance for what they call and what they categorize as a Bregman divergence built from like different algorithms. Uh, essentially overall that uh, that they, they essentially utilize these to modify SGD. And then they, they like, I mean, the bottom line is, is that they run SGD within hyperbolic space and then within different geometries, like, which again, I've been I, like, these are the concepts that I like, you know, like, Again, I, I can't state it enough, like how much, like when I very first started these things, there were so many people that were like, if if uh, if these things that you're talking about are, are actually accurate, et cetera, then there's going to be some big company that's going to do it. Like, here you go, right? A second thing that they said is that you're going to make like, you know, bajillions of dollars off of just understanding <laughs> and researching these things, right? Again, here you go. I'm not the one making any jack off of this, right? Uh, that's not that's not how the world works overall within these things. Like there's so many, I don't know, just a lot of people don't understand a lot of these things, right? So then diving further into this, right? And then so uh, essentially 
what they introduce, like their Bregman flavor is, is that each step tries to not increase the Bregman distance to the solution set. This underpins convergence, like, uh, so, okay. Uh, and then, so, uh, essentially, I mean, they, they, they unify, they, they flat out formalize all of my, uh, everything that I have related to AI geometry in, in like a, a, a 69 page research paper that's put out. Uh, I, this is the first one that I've seen that's like, Microsoft, Meta, and Amazon, right? Uh, and then so uh, diving deeper into this, uh, here's minimum working examples. Here's exactly, you know, so if you want to chart here exactly how, how it uh, maps directly to AI geometry and like the direct concepts that I've talked about all over this channel, resonance calculus, sidecar attention, platonic data sets, my... Uh, Here's formalization and more formalization of the math, right? Like I get, I like, uh, I have formalization of the math myself here too. But so, uh, and then like uh, just you know hi highlighting that and then pointing that out. Uh, essentially, the the overlap here, uh, where they formalize more than I do. So these this is you know exactly where they're they're formalizing more than I do. I mean, here's where I go beyond like literally everything. Every part of their like future research section is is already my research. Uh, and then so uh, just, you know, this is like essentially like kind of what I do when I like, this is like my kind of report that I get for myself on it. Like when I do these things and I go over these papers, right? Like kind of just, uh, this is like for me, like experiments I can run, uh, talking points, et cetera, and then implementation hints, right? Uh, but so like, I mean, kind of the like uh, bottom line that I, I want to like uh, highlight within this, I never do this on my channel or anything like this, right? And like, but so I essentially like, this is ChatGPT. I just flat out just took this research paper. You can do this exact same thing, right? I'll link you to all of this. It's like the research paper, my AI geometry book. Like I, this is for sale on Amazon, so it's uh, you can have it all for free, right? The, the book, uh, and then I essentially um, just ask, you know, does this align <laughs> fully with the research paper? Uh, full overlap, um, and then you know, like uh, essentially. They formalize more. They formalize the mathematics more. I go way beyond them. Uh, think of them as complementarity, <laughs> like uh, is the way that it puts it. And then so conclusion, yes, the comparative document I drafted does align fully with Banach Bregman paper and with your AI geometry framework. It's faithful on the technical side and makes clear where you've gone broader, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, you know, so I mean, that's basically it. <laughs> like, uh, there it is in a nutshell, right? And so uh, all the, I'll link it all to, to you here, like, uh, I'll leave the link to the research paper. It's a cool research paper overall. Uh, I, I'm, not, you know, what am I going to do? I'm not mad over. Like I open sourced it all, right? So I'm not mad overall. It's just like, I mean, it's, I like, literally, I like, I've never seen like a paper that's just like, <laughs> like so, like, so like, there's two concepts within AI geometry, right? And then so one is is hyperbolic spaces and, and different geometric spaces, not just hyperbolic space, right? And then so the fractal space, etc. There's lots like triangles, a different like there's lots of different geometries that you can play around with that have an impact overall uh, on the space. Like and I, I like I've gone over. I have like lots of videos on this channel overall within these things, right? Like uh, essentially like. Uh, playing around with a model and a, creating a latent space that is essentially the shape of, a, like I say, a hyperbolic cube is far different than having it a, and creating it in space that is, say, the shape of like a hyperbolic pyramid. And then also, too, you can get benefits from connecting, say, a hyperbolic pyramid to a hyperbolic cube and then utilizing that as your latent space, things like that, right? And then so, I mean, this is all, the, they're proving it all out here, but this is the, the unified theory <laughs> within this, right? Uh, and then so, like, uh, so that's kind of the, the step number one within this. And, and like the most important thing to understand this is that like geometry within uh, AI models is A, non-Euclidean, and then B is not static, right? Like, and, and you have to think of it more in, in terms of that. Like it's, a, and it's a lot of, uh, and the, the shape of the environment overall matters. And then so you have to keep all those concepts in mind. Uh, and then the uh, other like aspect that uh, comes into this beyond just the uh, hyperbolic space and then dealing with uh, all of that within this is essentially the fact that uh, there's uh, we're dealing with like curved geometries within this as well, right? And then the models have like uh, what matters to the models and I've gone over this and I, I explicitly like 
if you watch my video on AI geometry, explain this concept of edges, right? Uh, edges, relationships, nodes, edges, and relationships, and then breaking it down into these exact terms, like the exact mathematical terms they break down uh, within here, right? But so edges are, are uh, curvatures and, and then curved space, right? And then like, uh, so it's not just a straight line that matters. Like, and then so it's typical stochastic gradient descent. It's just a straight line with a 2D projection, exactly as they mentioned it here, right? But then so when you put it into hyperbolic space, it's no longer 2D and it's no longer just a straight line, right? And then so that has uh, and, and induces curvature uh, within the, the actual space itself, which has ramifications on, again, you can't just get a straight line because you have little cur literal curvature uh, in the space. And then so those things from a geometric perspective just end up mattering overall to these things. And then they end up being what these things are overall within this, right? And then so again, I'll leave a link to all of this, this research paper, uh, Banach Bregman, <clears throat> and then uh, also, too, I'll, leave you, I'll give you the free copy of this book so you can do the exact same things here, right? Just so, like, I'm not just, like, uh, you know, kind of ticked off about this for no reason. Like, it's, like, like I mean, it's, like, again, this is the, the first, like, ever, like, Meta, Microsoft, <laughs> Amazon. And then it's, like, I just, like, literally, like, the, the, the literal AI geometry. Uh, cool. I mean, cool. Again, like, uh, so anyone that said, like, uh, like three years ago or whatever, like, if, if people will, like, you know, oh, imagine if if you're right, then people will, you know, be making papers on it. Every single one of them did, guy. So <laughs> here you go. Uh, I'll leave a link to all of it. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.